Okay, so in the last two videos, we've looked at where we could apply CERDs to a problem involving circles, okay, using the area of circumference. And in the previous video, we've looked at how it could be used to, in, while involved in Pythagoras' system. In this video, uh, I'm going to show you how it could be used as part of solving an equation. So, you could potentially have something that looks like this. 1 over root 2 plus x is equal to x over root 2. We need to determine what the value of x would have to be. So, in doing this, okay, we're going to need to have good algebraic skills, obviously, but also good and strong uh, thirds knowledge. So let's say that we need to write x in as simple form as possible, uh, where the denominator has been rationalised, Okay, and let's see how we get on. So the first step is to make sure that all the x's are on one side of the equation. So I'm going to take x from both sides first. So I'm going to have 1 over root 2 is equal to x over root 2, take away x. Okay. Then I'm going to have to make sure I factorise the right hand side to get the x's by itself. Okay. So we've got 1 over root 2, and I'm going to take x outside of a bracket, and inside the bracket I'm going to have to have 1 over root 2, take away 1. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do here, instead of my usual step of where I would immediately divide both sides by 1 over root 2, take away 1, okay, which, uh, in that case, I'm going to get something that's quite nasty. Um, well, actually, for, well, now I think about it a bit more, you could do this in two different ways. Um, I'm going to do it... Um, I'm going to do it the way that I was first thinking um, first, and then I'm going to backtrack and show you the other possible way of doing it. So, you could first rationalise the denominator, 1 over root 2, okay? So we have 1 over root 2, and we multiply it by 1, and I'm going to choose the 1 to be root 2 over root 2. So I get 1 times root 2 is root 2, and root 2 times root 2 is 2, okay? So I could write that as root 2 over 2. So this has become um, 1 half root 2, Okay, because that's the same as root 2 over 2, is equal to x lots of 1 half root 2, take away 1. Then, I'm going to divide through by that bracket. So I'm going to get 1 half root 2 over 1 half root 2 minus 1, is the same as x. So, you could potentially leave it like that. But, if you're then asked to rationalise the denominator, then I'm going to have to. So I've got 1 half root 2 over 1 half root 2 minus 1. And I'm going to multiply that by 1 half root 2 plus 1 over 1 half root 2 plus 1. Now... I'm going to have 1 half root 2 times 1 half root 2, so that's 1 half times 1 half is a quarter, and root 2 times root 2 is 2, so a quarter times 2 is a half, so it's 1 half, uh, plus 1 half root 2. And then on the, denom on the denominator, we've got 1 half root 2 times 1 half root 2, which we know already is 1 half. We've got 1 half root 2 times 1, and minus 1 times 1 half root 2. And then you've got minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. So, on the, denominator, on the numerator, sorry, we've got 1 half plus 1 half root 2, and on the denominator, we have 1 half take away 1, because these two pieces cancel each other out, so you get minus a half on the denominator. So, in doing that, 
by dividing through by minus a half, we've got a half divided by minus a half is minus one, and one half root two divided by minus a half is just minus root two. So x is minus one take away root two in its most simplified form. So that is the process that I was immediately thinking of, okay? Um, now, if you did it the other way, okay, so I go back to this step. This is the second method. It might actually be easier. If you did a straight dividing through, by uh, 1 over root 2 take away 1, then what happens is that you get 1 over root 2 divided by that is the same as root 2, 1 over root 2 times this. Okay, it's exactly the same as that. Is x. Now if you multiply through this bracket, you get root 2 times 1 over root 2 is just 1. And you've got root 2 times mi minus 1 is minus root 2. Okay? So, in actual fact, what we need to do now is we need to rationalise the denominator for 1 over 1 minus root 2. So, x is 1 over, root, over, 1, over 1 minus root 2, and I'm going to multiply that by 1 plus root 2 over 1 plus root 2. So we get 1 times 1 plus root 2 on the numerator, 1 times 1, 1 times root 2, minus root 2 times 1, and minus root 2 times root 2 is minus 2. So we get 1 plus root 2 in the numerator, and 1 take away 2 is minus 1 on the denominator. So 1 divided by minus 1 is 1, minus 1, and root 2 divided by minus 1 is minus root 2. So we get exactly the same answer doing it that way. And actually, when it came down to it, that was probably the easier way of doing it. Um, because you didn't have to deal with the half root 2s or anything like that. Okay? Both methods work. Both methods get you the same answer, but... One is more tricky than the other, okay?